Let's go and see, see what we're making here. Pretty sure it's making, oh yeah, she's making power. A little bit, I believe. Uh, not much. There's only 100 volts, 90 volts, yeah. It says it's charging, but yeah. Zip point nothing almost. This guy here with the arrow pointing downward <laughs> means that we're using uh, 0.927, yeah, so we're using 0.9 amps. So there's 0.7 now. Means the wind picked up and started charging. Yeah, but we're actually losing power. <laughs> losing power. I have not seen it go pointing upward yet. In other words, defeating that one amp of uh, the power that we're using from a charge controller yeah we're losing roughly about uh 50 watts you know constantly so that thing's got to blow about 100 watts in order to defeat so we can get 50 watts of power <laughs> that's what it means so anyway yeah so we're cooking with some but you can see 0.1 amps right that thing don't make crap. So yeah, the moral of the story is solar panels rock compared to that. 54 amps from, uh, of course, from solar panels from 3.5 kilowatts. Yeah, seen it make, like I said, anything over 50 watts yet, but uh, we'll see. And I've confirmed that. I've measured the current coming in here and the voltage, and, uh, and of course, the current and the voltage coming out of here with this guy and yeah yeah that is nothing with my setup that thing don't make power this guy again is about 120 to 450 volts it can handle so if it's below 120 uh, a lot of times you won't see nothing until it kicks up fast enough and that there see so, you now it's showing now we're up to 90 and then read it and here somewhere it'll start kicking power this guy here, you'll see it blow down a little bit. Yeah, see how it kicked down a little bit to eight? Now it's already wimping out. Decrease. <laughs> Tenth of an amp. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's a funny little. It's a nice ornament for the lawn. That's right, right, a spinning ornament. It only costs a thousand bucks, man. <laughs> to have that lawn ornament. <laughs> My neighbor says he likes looking at it, so it can't be all bad. <laughs> it's blowing out there really hard right now. Super hard. It's gotta be 30, 30 mile hour winds, gotta be. And so it's gonna, I actually almost saw it flip to positive. It didn't quite. It went to zero and then tried to flip, but it wouldn't flip to charging. It just didn't have enough poop. And now it's slowed some, huh? Now we're at 95. Should pick up speed like a big dog here now. Come on, it's blowing like crazy out there. There she goes. There she starts charging. Can we make a decent amperage? I actually see, I think, 0.4 amps. <laughs> 0.4, yeah, it's funny. 0.2! I'm trying. But yeah, it doesn't have enough sustained wind speed with that tiny, tiny uh, blade up there to maintain a charging effect. It applies a little bit of a current, you know, a couple tenths of an amp, and it beats it down and slows it right down. That's the problem. It ain't big enough. Okay, here's uh, my tower, you know, my mast, and uh, of course the uh, turbine is spinning away. You can see I'm walking downhill a little bit here. Straight through there, everything is it's where the wind comes, right from there. And sometimes it switches and comes from this direction, but there's nothing encumbering this guy that way either. And uh, we've been getting some storms today. And so it's been spinning up pretty hard a few times, but still hasn't made more than 100 watts. I saw actually 100 watts today, which is the first time in, uh, in basically three uh, wind events, you know, when we had some real good wind. That was the highest I've seen today. 
but uh, clearly it was it was at least 25 maybe even 30 miles an hour wind this is the three phase coming directly from the turbine this is the box i'm running everything through i basically just got the three phase coming in here running over to a three phase bridge creates the dc i got these big caps on here to clean up that dc got a little bit of a, a 20k bleed resistor to bleed these off so there's no danger and i got a switch here you can throw like that which puts this in the circuit and that's our brake that i tested this unit and i could see the exact ripple and the noise coming off of it which it was acceptable uh now i got this you know going through this little box right running up to the house and of course it's dc at this point now also not only uh, have i measured the current here uh you know to see when it was blowing really hard uh which it never developed much current here either uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 uh amps you know a couple hundred volts now just like all my solar come through here i run through these switches i've measured of course the current draw here and of course the voltage and then runs into the uh, charge controller which i'm not using the inverter portion i'm just using the for a charge controller and uh and of course we're producing 95 volts right now so it won't even kick in it won't even cut in until it's up to 120 volts now there's one thing i can do also which i may do is uh, connect up uh maybe four solar panels to during the daytime the voltage will be already cutting in with the charge and then whenever the turbine will spin up of course we'll start producing a little bit of current and uh, that may be that may help a little bit too uh just to let the thing freewheel until it's you know can actually contribute yeah, just so you have a better understanding also of course i just put this in for the uh wind turbine but of course i'm running these charge controllers which have been running great this guy here charges also and then also this guy here has been uh a stalwart i'm running uh eight 280 amp hour um lithium iron phosphate batteries that i built and uh, of course they're all BMS. They all come up here, run through my switches, which of course safety feature up to my buses. And then of course feed the inverter and power my house. Got a little bit of wind here, started charging. As you can see I'm only kicking about a tenth of an amp, which I've confirmed that right here. Same amperage, virtually nothing. And of course it's playing a little bit of a uh, uh, load to the turbine out there. And if the wind isn't strong enough, of course, it'll cut out because uh, it's, it's under a tiny bit of a load. But then it's coming back up now because it's not under load. But of course, here you can see it, it actually made two tenths of an amp. But it's got to make one amp to even beat, <laughs> to even beat the draw of this uh, charger. I think if I add the solar panels to get the voltage up to 120-ish, maybe 130 volts during the daytime, uh, then if the wind blows, uh, any amount of energy that that turbine creates will be anded with that and produce a little more current. And that may be the solution to scabbing out every drop of energy that you can get from that. No thing. matter what, uh, it does not produce 2,000 watts at, uh, 12 uh, meters per second. There's no way, absolutely not. The best I've seen so far is um, about a tenth of the energy when this guy was up floating at over 200 volts, 210 ish. Uh, yeah, we still were only making uh, uh, maybe a, I don't know, maybe, maybe one amp, maybe possibly. We we're just about beating the meter. It was fluctuating right at zero. It never went to pointing upwards. But it was at zero, just about. Yeah, as you can see, we're making a little bit of power, enough to offset some of the power this is using, which is 50 watts. Yeah, it's blowing pretty good there. It's maybe about a 15 mile an hour wind. Not enough to maintain anything. As soon as it applies any current to that, it'll, it'll slow down too much. It was over 200, I actually saw a couple tens of an amp which is about all it ever does. Anyway, I think connecting up uh, four or five solar panels, at least, at least during the day, will uh, provide us additional uh, 
voltage, you know, where we can be in a charge phase all the time. Whenever it spins, it'll create a little bit of power. That'll help uh, ease my mind where I'm not upset. Yeah, that, that uh, yeah, the blade isn't big enough for sure. If it was about twice that size, I think it would do much better. Well, folks, you see uh, this arrow's pointing upward now, right? And we're actually putting about yeah, one and a half amps, you know, two amps into the battery. And uh, up here it shows a similar thing, right? We've got 120 voltage, something like that. Uh, it's saying about 1.2, 1.3 amps. Uh, it's because it's a little bit cloudy. And uh, the reason that matters for my wind turbine, <laughs> that's cloudy, is uh, I have four solar panels out there connected in series, which produces about 140 volts when the sun's blaring on them. When it's like this, about 120 or something, just barely enough to keep it charging. But um, I think this, keeping the, the charger up and running, during at least during the daytime, and then that dude spinning some, will be able to scab every bit of power that the thing will produce, which ain't much. <laughs> but nevertheless, I want to see what it will actually produce underneath a good condition. Like, uh, like it's always accepting the voltage instead of being at you know 90 volts or something when it's spinning like that and not getting any of that power. And so, yeah, having four panels like that in series, creating 140 volts here in a second, as soon as that dude's gone, <laughs> we get back over to that, then uh, yeah, then we'll, uh, I think, be able to pick up all that current that's coming off that thing. I'm gonna measure it right in there, right coming off of this guy here, see what it's generating just generally, because now it should be under load, a tiny bit of load, just a, a squishy bit of load. It's mostly, I think, loading the MPP charger of these guys, because that voltage is always there. And when this chimes in, like it's doing, I believe, uh, it'll get a little bit of current off that too. As you can see, our sun's starting to peek out of that cloud. So, yeah, we're juicing, uh, yeah, almost uh, two point, well, three amps or a second ago at our 120 volts. It's not above that voltage because uh, even if the turbine's spinning, I don't think it's going to go much above that unless it's really blowing. It's got to be really blowing. Yeah, see, we're banging out yeah, four and a half amps now to the batteries, which is great. Uh, but that's only daylight, you know, in the daytime. Nighttime, I think it's going to sit there and suck power all night <laughs> unless it's blowing like a madman. And our sun's getting better. Should be going up. Oh yeah, look at that, five amps. Should go up to about eight, seven or eight in full sunlight. And down here, of course, it says uh, about 13, which is uh, about right. Yeah, also what else this proves is my wiring, my setup, running, everything's good, okay? The only thing that's not that good is that turbine. <laughs> It is not that good. They don't produce much. I think it's a pretty good solution temporarily for uh, what we're doing here. And uh, yeah, the uh, the wind turbine for sure doesn't produce 2,000 watts at uh, 27 miles an hour or whatever. The uh, 12 point uh, or the 12 meters per second. It doesn't. There's no way. So um, yeah, don't. Don't buy it. That dude does not produce, uh, you know, 2,000. There's no way. If the wind was blowing about 100 miles an hour, it probably would. Yeah, that's a very special event, right? Like a tornado event. <laughs> the biggest problem with it, I see, is that the ones that I've studied made in Germany are roughly twice as wide as this and a little bit taller to produce 1,400 watts. So absolutely for sure, this thing will never in my opinion, unless you have like, a, you know, 50, 60 mile an hour wind or something, produce that 2000 watts. There's no way. That sail, that blades are too small. They're not wide enough and they should be a little taller too, according to what I've been studying with uh, this German company. And I trust the Germans, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very, very slick on their, uh, on their turbines that they make. They're a lot more money, but they work. They work, they work, they work, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I love you, baby. 
Yeah, that turbine's a don't buy, baby, unless you just want like 200 watts, because <laughs> that's probably all it's gonna ever produce uh, in normal conditions. For me, it's only produced 100, 100. And uh, we had three or four you know, wind events that uh, kicked off here the last few weeks. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this video to get done, but uh, yeah, it wasn't windy. And so like when it's not sunny, solar don't work. <laughs> when it's not windy, wind don't work. <laughs> So, anyway, yeah, it's a it's a solution, I think, temporarily. <laughs>